What's up, grunts? Randall here. Welcome to another episode of Grunt Proof. We're out here at HQ Germany. Today we're going to be talking about mittens, specifically the Solongjank cold weather mittens. You've probably seen these in a few of my videos recently. I've actually been playing with these for a little over a year. I've put them through the ringer, and now it is time to give the Grunt Proof verdict. Stick around. First, if you don't know Solongyank, they are a French outdoor and hunting company. They are sold exclusively through Decathlon. To my American brothers and sisters, Decathlon is one of the largest sporting goods stores in the world. They have at least one store in San Francisco that I know of, and I believe they are slowly going to expand within America. That's awesome because Decathlon has some awesome gear. But specifically, if you don't know Solongyank, you need to check out some of my other videos using their stuff especially their cold weather pants because they make some outstanding gear for amazing prices. I will be linking those above throughout this. Like I said, you've probably seen these mittens in some of my other videos, especially my winter camping videos. I've used the crap out of them for about a year. They've held up just fine. I have not destroyed them. I haven't actually broken anything on them, even though I have tried. First, let me just go over an update with you guys. If you click on the most updated product link, which I will provide below, you will notice that they have added a silent magnet system. I showed you guys before that I would use a rubber band to hold it back because they didn't have anything that came with it. Well, I guess they heard people's complaints and they added a system. So it'll hold itself back for you now. A little over a year ago, I paid about $30 for these. They are still about the same price, depending on where you get them. That is a very good deal for these gloves. They are 100% synthetic. Around the wrist, they have a faux fur liner, which to me feels just like fleece. It has a waterproof membrane. It is totally windproof, and I have tested that, as you can see in some of my shots. I've been in some crazy hurricane-style winds. No problems. The palm grip is reinforced, giving it extra durability. Everything is 100% polyester except for the inner fabric, which has 10% elastane. The YKK zipper is as waterproof as a zipper can be. Of course, it's sealed here, but you know, you can never totally waterproof a zipper as seen here. But given that it's almost 100% polyester, you can't waterproof that. There are coatings and chemicals you could put on there to improve the water resistance but none of that is going to be 100% waterproof. Matter of fact, if you guys can find me a pair of gloves that are 100% waterproof, send them to me and I will test them. Your little faux fur, which is basically fleece to me, is very comfortable, very warm. I also like this elastic band right here about where your wrist is. Even while wet, you'll have no problems getting your hand in here, but also it's going to constrict just a little bit down your wrist. And that has actually kept snow from going up into my gloves it'll get up in here but you just shake it out just like all Solonyak's great gear in all the problematic areas they have reinforcement so right down here where your hands are likely to drag and then around the fingertips where you're more likely to be messing with tools whatever scratching them on something that is a plus even though it's mostly single stitch all around the stitching has held up quite nice. I have not busted one seam anywhere. The zipper is very high quality. It is tough. I have opened and closed this thing all the time just to mess with it. I think it would be very hard to break. So on top of the elastic bands in there for your wrist, they also have your little straps to attach them to your belt, as in my case, or on the back of your ruck. As far as weight goes, they are about an ounce a piece. So barely noticeable in your pack. As a matter of fact, if I'm going out anywhere in very cold conditions, I am going to clip these to the back of my ruck just in case I need them because they're so light, I don't even notice that they're there. Also, at least on the American Decathlon website, they offer a two-year guarantee with these mittens. So even if you don't like them after two years or you accidentally break something, you could probably still get them replaced. So given that they're so damn cheap already, that is a steal. 
One last thing, compared to the old Army Extreme Cold Weather mittens, those giant clunky things, which were awesome by the way, this is just all around updated technology. So they can make you warmer with less material and a lot less clunkiness and bulkiness and you can still do stuff like start a fire, drink some coffee. Now let's get to some of the downfalls. First, this glove is one size fits all. I am a army size large and it's pretty tight if you're wearing other gloves inside this. I always liked mittens to be oversized because if you wanted to have two pairs of gloves, say another thick pair of winter gloves, and then when you were driving a quad or something, you could throw these on over those instead of having to remove your other winter gloves. That's not going to happen with these. So if you have giant hands, these might not be the gloves for you. I ripped out the glove lining that comes with the product because it sucks. This is basically a similar material as the rest of the inside. It's a polyester elastane mix and it gets drenched. So if you are working in cold and wet conditions, if you do have to strip down to the glove insert to do something with dexterity and your fingers get wet, they're going to stay wet. And the problem for me is in very cold conditions, my fingers would never warm up again. That is a big problem. Now that is because it's a cheap polyester material that has zero warming properties, especially when wet, but there's a cheap fix to it. I still have my US Army wool glove insert. I removed their crappy insert. I can fit my hand in there with the Army wool version. Now you have an awesome mitt. So as you can see, I'm playing with snow, ice water, everything. And then as soon as I get my fingers back into the mitten, they will warm back up. And over time, if I don't expose them to water again, everything will dry out on the inside. But just the simple fact of switching it out with a wool liner made it awesome. And then guess what? If you don't need the mittens, you still have some good wool gloves to use. If you're getting back into winning conditions on your quad, or you're gonna start messing with ice and snow again, maybe to pack up a tent like I've done, then you just go ahead and throw your hands back in there and you are good to go. So with the glove liner issue, is that going to fail them? Probably not. If they cost $100, like some of the big name brands out there, they would definitely fail because of those crappy inserts. But because the price is so damn low and every other feature is perfect, the Solongyak mittens will receive the grunt proof seal of approval. My recommendation to Solongyak, if any of your reps are watching, and I know some of them do, you guys need to cut out that worthless poly stuff from the inside of the glove liner and you need to replace it with some wool liners. And I guarantee you, if you do that, your mittens will become the best product in that freaking category, hands down. Once again, if you would like to see a list of pre-approved grunt proof items, click on my Amazon affiliate link down below. Of course, I get paid through that link, but I'll tell you guys, I cannot be bought off by any of these companies. And any item that is on there is grunt proofed by myself, either in the field or in combat. So rest assured, I am only recommending excellent products there. Well, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down below. If you have a similar pair of mittens that you think would perform better, let me know and I'll check them out. Make sure you like and subscribe guys. Click the bell to get notifications when I put up a new video. And until that new video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Take care of yourselves.